F-22 Raptors from the Hawaiian Air National Guard's 199th Fighter Squadron take to the skies above Punchbowl. That missing man flyover, a tribute to veterans both living and dead, as hundreds gathered at the National Memorial Cemetery of the Pacific for the annual Veterans Day ceremony. The morning began with a 21-gun cannon salute by the Bravo Battery, 2nd Battalion, 11th Field Artillery of Schofield Barracks, as smoke filled the air, clouding over the graves. And then a welcoming ha'a, a presentation from the Hawaiian Lua group Pakui Aholo. The crowd included hundreds of veterans, as well as dignitaries, including Australia Prime Minister Julia Gillard, who took time from her APEC duties to remind the crowd our countries are forever entwined. Because we know that so many of the buried here died for us too. When we were under attack in the Pacific, so many of these buried here were amongst those who came to our aid. They fought with us together, side by side, step by bloody step. As they remember those who fought in the past, Admiral Robert Willard reminded the crowd of the present. And here again, 10 years long, America and her allies are still at war, now earnestly seeking an honorable end. Then the wreath presentation by dignitaries and veteran service organizations, honoring the contribution of all veterans who have fought to keep America safe. Veterans Day ceremonies were also held at the Hawaii State Veterans Cemetery in Kaneohe.